Um, that's my book in the earliest incarnation. You will notice that there are people of multi-hued all pulling on the same side in the cover. Multi-hued people. There's no, there's no uh, persons of limited ability or other kinds of hues of life, but this was, in 1978, this was a very big way of demonstrating that play is something that can bring people together, that can create community out of strangers, because it's a universally shared experience. So I was very interested in this idea that there was such a thing as a well-played game, that people would actually say to each other, oh, that game was really well-played, because it was referring to an aesthetic of the play experience that is beyond the idea of winning and losing, which is where most discussions tend to stop when you're talking about playing a game. Oh, Daddy, I played baseball today. Did you win? And that's the end of the conversation, you know? If you say, I didn't win, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll play harder next time. But the fact is that what really I believe, what really draws people to a game, to wanting to play a game, is the idea of playing together. And when you play together, and you play together so well that you can look back at each other and say, oh, wasn't that a well-played game? Or wasn't that fun? Which is kind of an easier way of saying the same thing. It means that you've stepped outside of the frame of the game and you've evaluated and, and become and shared the experience that you had together, that you created together, which is just like what was going on with our little digital game that we played. You know, it was fun, but the fun was created together. And you shared that, and you can evaluate that together as an experience that you've built and shared. And oddly enough, as, as simple as that, as that idea is, it still remains very revolutionary. 